Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is how to make a photography website in just 10 minutes. Right, so here are a few things that you're going to need before we get going. You're going to need a name. Now, whether this is your name or a photography name, you're going to need a name, basically, because you can't set up a website without having some sort of name in mind. Uh, next thing, we're going to need some web hosting. Now, basically, all this is is paying someone to store your website on the internet, basically. So don't get too worried about that, but you definitely need some web hosting. Once we've got the web hosting, we need a domain name. Now, basically, this is just a website address. So whatever you choose, it could be John Smith. John Smith Photography, it would be johnsmithphotography.com. There we go. And then lastly, we need some photos or some content to put on there. That would be quite useful. And we'll be good to go. So let's get cracking and uh, we'll see how we set up a photography website. Right, so I've just popped into Google. So first of all, I'll go across to... I'll choose GoDaddy because this is a great place to start. So basically, we wanted a photography name. So whether this is your own name or... A name you've come up so let's just type in mutts nuts photography and see if that domain's free right so if you was going to call yourself mutts nuts photography might be a good name might not be uh, you could buy this now for six pounds ninety nine so yeah so what you do is you select that then you go through and make your purchase and register an account and everything I've already got an account, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what you do once you've bought this, because you don't need me to show you going through this, and we'll get the website set up. So once you're in your account, it'll look something like this. It might look a little bit different if you use a different company. I'm not promoting anyone here, I just, this is who I use. Now, I'd go down to the web hosting, because you will have to buy some web hosting as well, but you'll have an option to do that after you've bought your uh, domain name. Just buy the cheapest one you can to start off with. So now I'll go into manage my hosting account. Basically this is just the settings page where all your websites are. Now it's really easy to, what we're going to use is WordPress. It just makes it really, really simple to manage your website. So we just go over here to the applications tab. Right now that's loaded. As you can see, there's loads and loads of different options, the things you can install. All we're interested in is WordPress. So we'd hit that. Now, it won't let me install it on here because I've already got um, it installed on that website. All you'd do is you'd pick your domain from this little drop-down list. You would create an admin name and make a password, put your email in, and hit OK, and you'd be good to go. That'll just take a couple of minutes to install. It'll come up once it's told you it's installed. So what I'm going to do is we'll jump over to a website where I've already got this installed. It's just an old website I don't use anymore. And we'll go through exactly how you start putting content on your website. Right, now this is an old website that I never really used. Bought it. Was maybe going to sell it again. Doesn't matter, right? For test purposes, this should say mutsnutsphotography.com, right? Or whatever you'd imagine your website to say. Now, once you've installed WordPress, all you'll need to do is go to this where it says wp-admin. I'll just do that again for you. So you'll have your website address. All you'll do is type in forward slash wp-admin and hit enter then you'll put your username and password that you put in on GoDaddy's website when you was registering your WordPress account and then we'll log in and this is what you'll get now if you did do this with GoDaddy you can set up uh, GoDaddy pre-install like a little plugin they're called now don't worry yourself too much about this all you need to do is jump over to appearance Go to themes, there'll be a couple of themes already installed. You can add new themes, look for new themes. 
I'm just going to install this one. It's already installed, so I'm just going to activate this one. This is actually called IH Photographer. So that one's done. Right. Now you can customize this. If you go into the customize section, you can see in real time this is the website front page. So if we come over here, site title, we want to be called Mutz Nuts Photography uh, Tagline We are the Nuts Bitches. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can write whatever you want here. Um, then you can change the color, so you can have background color, you can choose different background colors. I'll just leave it white for now. Uh, you could select an image if you wanted to install an image on there. Uh, widgets, we'll talk about widgets in a different video. So let me save and publish this. Press the X to come out. If we go here, you can click visit site. So yeah, there we go, it says Mutz Nuts Photography. If you did have a logo, you could insert the logo here. Once you're uh, logged into your website as well, you can always just hover over here and get back to that dashboard. This screen's called the dashboard here. Now, if you wanted to put some content on the website, go to Posts, Add New Post. Just type in Test Post 1. Publish that. Go back to the front page of the website. Because we didn't put a photo on it, there's nothing there, but if we click on this, here we go. But if you want to add any sort of media, go to Media, Add New. So if you wanted to select this photo here, just double click it. It'll load the photo up. That photo has now been uploaded. So if we went to see the post that we wrote, you could click on this, click on edit. And if you wanted to put a picture in there, click on that, select featured image, we'll update the post. Now if we click back on the home page, there's our picture in the post. Click on the post, the picture is in there with writing underneath. Now if you just wanted to use this website as a portfolio, you could write a few words about each each post and let me just go back onto all posts. If we add new test post two publish add new test post three publish now let me just jump down here so imagine you've already uploaded some photos into the library I'll just bang that one in there update that I'll go back to all posts edit number two we'll put different image in there Update this. Now go back to the main homepage. Instantly we've got three photos on there. So whether you wanted to call this, instead of test post three you call this, I don't know, property, shorts, you've got test post two, this could be other interiors, could be architecture, could be whatever you want, portraits, it could be miscellaneous, whatever you want. That's how quick and simple it is to set up your own photography website. Now, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will make some more of these videos, getting a lot more in depth to show you specifics. Maybe we'll get some sliders on here. We'll get a lot more photography-oriented uh, videos for 
your photography website sort of thing. And yeah, we'll go, we'll go from there. And I'll speak to you all soon, guys.